Ever since its launch on December 25, 2021, the James Webb Telescope has been known for making headlines. The telescope is the largest optical telescope in space and costs around $10 billion to make. Ever since the James Webb Telescope was launched, it has made several mind-blowing discoveries, such as that there were 10 times more galaxies just like our own Milky Way in the early universe than we thought. We were also able to find many new planets, asteroids, and clusters of galaxies. Furthermore, the telescope was also able to capture the fascinating birth of stars. Isn't that so exciting? However, a particular discovery blew away our minds the most. Join us and keep watching as we explore this discovery and more. The James Webb Telescope had already begun uncovering the secrets of our universe when it released its first set of images on July 12, 2022. The James Webb Telescope has a near-infrared camera that helps take photographs of 10 distinct sky areas or near cam. Sticks of these patches are observed by the telescope's near-infrared spectrograph. The James Webb Telescope discovered a galaxy that has a tiny red blob and has been dubbed Glass Z13. This discovery was made in July of 2022. According to scientists, it is the most distant galaxy ever spotted. It lies in approximately redshift 13. If you thought the craziest James Webb discovery ends here, you are mistaken. Shortly after the glass Z13 was discovered, sources reveal that even more unusual and more extreme galaxies were found. It's like space is endless. According to scientists, if they are right about what the James Webb Telescope has seen, then they think that the existence of galaxies will exceed the modern galaxy theories. Even though these discoveries are preliminary, they could change our whole perspective of the universe. They challenge and break all rules, such as the age when galaxies and stars were made. Now let's look at the critical points of how galaxies and life were formed according to the original theory. First, the Big Bang happens, and the universe appears at a hot and dense single point in space. Then the universe undergoes inflation where it doubled in size to 90 times. Hence, the matter was formed. Furthermore, the universe then created light elements and protons and neutrons collided to make deuterium. Then, 380,000 years later, the fog finally faded and the universe entered the recombination phase. After recombination, 400 million years later, the universe went dark again during a period of reionization. Finally, during this period, clumps of gas collapsed to form stars and galaxies. Now, this is the theory that the Hubble Space Telescope proved. I'm sure most of you must have heard of the Hubble Telescope. It was the first space telescope and helped scientists discover more about space. Now, you might think of these discoveries by the Hubble Telescope to be based on solid ground and might believe they are true. Let us tell you all about the findings and how they contradict the old ones. Like I told you earlier, according to the Big Bang Theory, stars were formed earlier than the galaxies and that the recombination phase came before the reionization. However, we are unaware of when exactly this happened and why it happened. So to answer these questions, it is to look for popular three stars. These stars are solely the product of the Big Bang and are not recycled. Thus, it will help us find the exact date of when the universe formed stars and galaxies. These are purely hypothetical and have not been found yet. However, maybe the new James Webb Telescope could help us find one. Do you think its ability to see infrared light could help find the populations of three stars? Another question that may arise is how fast is the James Webb Telescope? To give you an idea, it took 30 days to travel nearly a million miles to its home, the second Lagrange point. You all must be aware of the Lagrange points, however, if you aren't, Lagrange points are basically positions in space where the gravitational forces of two body systems like the Earth and Sun produce regions of attraction and repulsion. In simpler words, the telescope after being launched in December arrived at the second Lagrange point in January. The speed is constantly increasing. Now that we know how powerful the James Webb Telescope is and how it could break modern theories, let's compare the Hubble Telescope and the James Webb Telescope. The Hubble Telescope, in terms of redshift, reached Z of 11 and James Webb was able to get Z of 13. The Hubble Telescope could detect infrared frequencies, but it had a limit of 400 million years after the beginning of the universe. In comparison, James Webb can see way further. In comparison, the James Webb Telescope can see 15 more than Hubble. Also, fun fact, did you know both Hubble and James Webb are currently operating in space? Hubble is expected to make its return to the Earth's atmosphere in 2030. Another difference between the two telescopes is that Webb will primarily look at the universe in the infrared, while Hubble studies it primarily at optical and ultraviolet wavelengths. Likewise, Webb also has a larger mirror than Hubble. Let's come back to some more facts about discoveries that the James Webb Telescope helped us make, such as Glass Z13 gives us the age of 330 million years. However, new sources have found several objects in the cluster SMAX 072373. James Webb could only see this gravitationally lensed cluster. 
The gravitational lens, if you did not know, allows us to see a lot further. Scientists found 55 highly redshifted galaxies out of which 44 were completely new. Can you imagine that? It's crazy. Six of them were a redshift of 12, and one had a redshift of 16. This is crazy. It was discovered by Callum Donnan, a PhD candidate at the University of Edinburgh and his team. This means that this would be a very young galaxy only 230 million years old, and if this discovery is confirmed, it could set a new record. The team also found five more galaxies, all of which have redshifts larger than 12, breaking the previous record for a redshift set by the Hubble Space Telescope. Apart from setting a new record, it would also contradict the old discoveries. This would mean these old galaxies already existed in the Dark Ages. These would be the furthest galaxies to be ever discovered due to cosmic expansions today. These galaxies would be 35 billion light years away. Scientists are hoping that this proves wrong because they would be left with many other unanswered questions, such as astrophysicists would be unable to explain the presence of such a high mass content in the early universe. Scientists would also have to develop an entirely new theory of the universe if the James Webb Telescope proved these primary discoveries. That is insane. Imagine everyone who believed in the Big Bang Theory was wrong. An astronomer at the Rochester Institute of Technology in New York said, We had in mind a concept of what galaxies at these distance would look like and how many details we'd be able to see. But I believe the reality is just kind of blowing our minds. The future of the James Webb Telescope before we end this video, I'm sure all you curious cats would want to know what more we can expect from the James Webb Telescope. According to our research, the James Webb Telescope will last 10 years. Now you can only imagine the success James Webb Telescope would make in 10 years. Moreover, more surprising discoveries about exoplanets, the early universe, cloud formation, and much more. According to scientists, this is just the beginning and much more is to come. Furthermore, Chief Scientist at NASA Eric Smith said everything we planned for Cycle 1, the astronomical community was bold, but it wasn't bold enough. So I'm excited for what people now plan to do for the second cycle, seeing just how capable the facility is. With science constantly evolving, discoveries will always bring new ideas and questions. Hence, now you know where to find all the answers to that. What do you think the James Webb Telescope will be able to discover in the next few months? Do you believe the theory of the universe is wrong? Do you think these new galaxies would be able to discover new lives? Let us know in the comments below. Lastly, let us know what more videos you would like us to make. Don't forget to comment your thoughts and press the like and subscribe button. While you are at it, don't forget to click the notification bell so YouTube can notify you whenever we drop a new video.